A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. If you need a website or a domain, go to squarespace.com forward slash James for 10% off your first purchase. Yeah. Oh, please don't be sick. Please don't be sick. Good boy. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to Cornwall, where Emily, Noah, and I are on holiday. Uh, we chose to come to Cornwall for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's lovely, and number two, we didn't fancy getting on a plane with a world champion wriggler. Anyway, what I thought we'd do today is uh, have a family holiday day out where we go to some touristy places and uh, I'm gonna see if I can take any photos with lots of people around in fairly terrible light. So, see what we get between the nappy changes. What could go wrong? Love, I think he's gonna be sick. Yeah! I, uh, I think I might have said we're going out for the day, but uh, as any new parents will know, a day is a relative concept. It is, don't you see that, 12.09 and um, we're only just leaving, which actually is a record for us. Usually we're leaving at two or three, so today is a good day. Should we go and try and take some photos? Shall we? Should we go get any photos? No. Um, it's been well, about an hour and a half since we last spoke and we've arrived at a place called Kynance Cove, I think is how you say it. Um, hopefully you get the gist from that. We've not taken any photos yet, uh, mostly because Emily's really hungry. So we're starting eating lunch and between us we've got three socks. So, good parenting. Nice? Mm, good sandwich? Mm. How many marks out of ten do I get? I go seven. Seven? Mm. I'll take it. Mm. Not a mate. No. Right, well, it's now ten past two and um, we've left the car park, so progress. Emily is taking the first stint carrying Noah, which is good because I think it'll probably be easier to take photos if I'm not carrying a baby. So um yeah, I'm gonna go down and see if we can see if we can see anything. You're not happy. I don't know. Let's have a look. What do you think, mate? No, I'm not impressed. Not a fan. Right then, I've got a few minutes to uh, try and get a shot from somewhere like this. You might be able to see Emily and Noah over there. For some reason, Emily didn't think this is safe. <laughs> Makes complete sense, actually, when you think about it. Not carrying a baby over here. Right, this works well-ish, except I want to go far enough this way to include those buildings. So, somewhere like this, maybe, maybe up here. Uh, it's gonna need to be a pretty wide shot, but this I think works well. Nice, I can get everything in at 16 mil. Uh, I've got a polarizer on just to uh, take the glare off the water. And as I usually do when I'm using a polarizer, I'll get a polarized shot and a non-polarized shot and just see which I like best afterwards. I'm shooting F. Uh, eight, let's go F8. And uh, at 250th of a second, that's giving me an ISO of 500, which is acceptable. Oh, and also, let me get the uh, unpolarized shot. That was, that was the polarized one. This is unpolarized. No, I'm not going that way. I, uh, I don't want to fall down a cliff at any time, but particularly not when my wife and child are watching me. Ooh. But it's pretty nice. I suspect I'll be doing some cloning because I don't want all those people in the shop, but maybe a select one or two. Like the person down there with a dog. Ooh. That's a good picture. Can you, um, do you mind going round that side? No, I don't mind going round. A photo of I'm on the way out as well. Can you look that way? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to stand here so I can get the top of that hill as well. I don't know if you can see any of this on the GoPro. Okay, go, 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 go. Awesome. Many of you all know I love photos like this immensely because they're just so clean. 
So, I want this rock in the foreground, I want that rock in the frame, Emily, that up there. So basically the whole scene. I'm shooting at 16 mil again, and Emily's jacket really is the subject. So, something like, and the water with Emma's jacket works really well. Uh, well, as you might be able to see behind me, Noah let us know that he was done. And he chose various means to let us know that, but needless to say, we knew. Well, that was fun though, mostly, as I said, because Emily took the reins and uh, carried him. I don't know how we'd have got on if I'd have been carrying him, but maybe we'll find that out tomorrow. Maybe I'll try that, or in about half an hour. I suspect Noah will let us know when we're allowed to take photos again, or I'm allowed to take photos again. Half an hour or about 15 hours, i.e. tomorrow. Fingers crossed it's half an hour though. Well, yes, it's the next morning, obviously, isn't it? And uh, I thought I'd sneak out while Emily and Noah are still asleep, which sounds a bit sinister, I don't mean it to. I just wanted to come and take some photos at uh, La Morna Cove. We're staying just up the hill there. And um, well, there's no sign. Oh, I was about to say there's no sign of sunrise, but I've just seen a seal. And I know those are two different things, but I might be able to get a photo of a seal. Well, it had been about two and a half minutes and I hadn't seen a seal, so I gave up and just pointed my camera at those rocks. As you'll know if you followed this channel for a while, I am not cut out for wildlife photography, so I prefer to just take photos of things that appear and then don't move, like rocks. So I'm going to assume it's the cold, but uh, as you can see, I've got my tripod out and I'm playing around with some slightly longer exposures than usual. She's very unlike me. Well, I'll tell you what, I am actually having a blast doing this, uh, which is unusual on the basis that I typically hate long exposures. So I don't really know why I'm enjoying it this morning. Maybe it's the fact that Emily and Noah aren't freezing cold waiting for me to finish. So I can sort of take my time. Although we are checking out this morning, so I should probably go and pack the car. Anyway, just quickly, uh, I'm shooting at a quarter of a second, uh, F10 and I've got my magnetic case polarizer on, which is just doing a good job of taking the glare off the water. And I'm doing an absolutely textbook thing in that I'm just waiting for a wave to break over this rock in the foreground, and then I'm photographing the water kind of dispersing off of that rock. And I think I'm getting some quite nice results. As I say, a long way from what I typically do with my photography, but for some reason, I'm enjoying it, and I'm just gonna go with it. Not particularly enjoying having to use a tripod to do it, but uh, hey, it's quite fun. Okay, rushing back, rushing back. Pack the car, hopefully do some dad photography later this morning. I say later this morning, probably this evening. Oh, this hill's a good one. Whew. But so is that view. Beautiful little cottage, breaking waves behind it. Might just quickly try the 70 to 200 actually since I've got it. Right, well, good news, it's uh, one o'clock and we've made it to Land's End. We did leave the hotel at 11. That's because checkout was at 11, so we sort of got kicked out. But we'll take that record. Um, I can confirm after two days of doing this that you can't take photos alone with an 11 week old. So yesterday, Emily was carrying Noah. Today, I'm carrying Noah, but Emily is being the porter to my camera gear. So, yeah, couldn't do it on my own, I don't think. So I think the, uh, the aim of the game is gonna be to take one, maybe two photos, and then get out of here. Is this? This is not going to last very long. He's asleep somehow. Uh, right, okay, I think we've got a shot. Basically, it's just these rocks here. I'm not going to worry about any long exposure type stuff. I've just got 50, very simple, polarised. It's uh, stormy, so it looks quite good. This will do. Okay, F5-6, 250th of a second. Lovely. Uh, welcome everybody to Exeter Services. What's that? Uh, yes, it's a lovely part of the world, but thankfully we're now out of the wind, so that's one positive. And Noah is still very much asleep. Uh, I am now on my way 
to the Cotswolds to uh, try and take some photos of autumn colours and I'm going to hope that uh, Emily can entertain Noah for a day or so while I do that. But thank you very much for watching this video, hopefully it was entertaining. I, um, I can't remember how many photos I actually took that I like but uh, hopefully there are a few. Uh, anyway, yes, a big thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and also a huge thank you to this week's video sponsor, Squarespace. Now, I'm sure many of you know by now, Squarespace is a fantastic service for anybody looking to set up a website, an online store, a domain, a newsletter, and anyone who wants analytics of all those things, it's fantastic. I've used it for years for my online portfolio, and I'd highly suggest that other photographers wanting an online presence take a look at Squarespace too. So you can do so by going to squarespace.com, start your free trial, and after that, if you'd like to make a purchase, then go to squarespace.com forward slash James for 10% off that first purchase. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video when hopefully I'll be surrounded by autumn colour in the Cotswolds. Probably without a baby. See you then.